All right, hi internet. Welcome back. Hi internet. Welcome back. This is our continuing series of holdover, the most frustratingly difficult game. I guess not the most. Yeah, I'm sure if you're looking at this right now and you didn't see the first video, you're really confused as to what the fuck. Why is this blonde head floating in a? All right, there, there you go. There we go. All right, all right. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. Gotta get air. Not, not like the air I was getting though. The sick air I was getting jumping through the water. Uh -oh. oh yeah, Tony Hawk jokes. I know what the kids are into these days. Tony Hawk? Shit, okay. So there's an ability you get later that lets you grab onto things and climb. Mm -hmm. Which is how you get to a whole lot more places. And really that's the kind of the thing the kind of the thing I I respect about this game is just how well it kind of builds on itself and also even when you have everything, it's still insanely difficult. So this is the first transmission room. There are three in the facility. The whole game is that we're trying to find, is that we're trying to find um, a way to contact the outside world so someone could come and save us. Gotcha. And we find the passcode is Sensui. Shit, okay. Sensui. Hold on, my computer is super hot. Oh yeah. It's so hot. I'm worried that something bad might happen. Uh, you should probably dust it out at some point. We want to break for a minute? Should, should blow on it? No, go ahead, keep going. I'll just react to the things you say instead of the things I'm seeing. Okay. While I give my computer head. Oh my. Oh my god, it's so hot. You're so hot, little computer. I love you. I love Oh, there you go. Oh, hello. Hello. You chopped out there for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I really thought you, uh, your computer just shut down. Wouldn't that be terrible? Alright, I don't remember if I quick saved, but I have to go back up. Oh, you totally did. And around. Yeah, but I don't remember where I quick saved, or how, um, or why. It's my motivation that... for quick saving. <laughs> Matt, I wanted you to know that oh, right now dying. I'm not even in the stream, so I'm completely lying to you. Okay. Well, I quick saved anyway. <laughs> don't jump! Don't jump! Don't don't do it! Don't no! Don't jump! All right. So I'm waiting for this platform to show up so I can shit. Ah, oh, you fool! You jumped. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, well, it was my lack of jumping really that killed me. Also, people are probably Here, really digging this noise. <laughs> Man, I wish I could hear that noise. Entertain the internet for a while. I'm I'm gonna uh, turn on my air conditioner. Okay. Oh, it's not on. Okay. So I'm feathering the shit. I'm feathering the shit, internet. You do not believe how many feathers the shit has. It's it's mad. It's mad dope with feathers. Oh, I'm glad I came back at just that right moment. Manny, you do not That's understand how just... mad dope my shit is. My shit. Shit, come on. Oh, fuck. Mad dope my shit. So I gotta catch this platform at exactly the right time so that it takes me up at exactly the right time so I can duck under this at exactly the right time so I can jump at exactly the right time. You know what's bullshit? Fucking stamps. Time. Yeah. What's Stamps? <laughs> what's up with that? Fucking time. I thought I could trust you. And then you slip away from me. Like all my boyfriends. Keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Yeah. I gotta fly like an eagle. <laughs> to the <laughs> do, 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 do. Fly like an eagle. Let my spirit do, carry me. Do, do, do. And then in my version, in my head canon of the song, even though I remember what the actual... <laughs> <are, laughs> I'm sorry. One second. In my head can So that's what I'm calling it because I like to use those kinds of words. Um, so in my in in my in the version of the song that exists only in my head, because I know what the actual words that continue on are, but when for the longest time I did not know how the song went, so I filled in the rest of the words as yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so I just leveled up again. I've done that to a few songs before. I love to level up my songs. Alright, so I just went through an underground cave and grabbed a whole shitload of hearts, so now I'm level 4 at breathing. 
underwater. Okay. And now I'm going back around, jumping a whole bunch more time so I have enough air to get back to the surface. Got it. Okay. And, okay, now we can start doing, um, let's see. Yeah, we want to go up and we want to catch this thing, this little platform up here. So we can go to the right, we can go up, we crawl under this, and now we can jump high enough that we can go to that place we can only skim before. Yes, the jump high place. Are you still, are you are you in the stream at all even? Yes, no, I, I came back to the stream, but for some reason I can't hear the sound anymore, so I'm going to unplug my mic and plug it back in. Okay. So there there will be precious seconds where you're not going to hear me. Ah. I know. Keep telling me your headcanons about the Steve Miller band, though. Um... Yeah, I mean, really, that was it. I'm trying to remember other songs that I had that that I that I filled in all the rest of the words for, because I I did not know them. Damn it! I'm jumping too high now. Um. Well, I had the I have the one that everyone has for Raymond for uh uh. Fuck, what's the name of that guy's Manfred Manfred Man's Earth Band for Planet by the yeah. Light? Everybody thinks it's revved up like a douche, which I think is it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and also because it really sounds like he's what he's saying, and no one knows what a deuce is. Yeah. So that's... Was it? Well, isn't it? Because uh, Bob Dylan wrote that. Song. Yeah. Well, was it Bob Dylan? I thought it was Bob Seger. It... No, it's Bob Dylan. Because Bob Dylan actually wrote every yeah, no, song yeah. ever. But Bob Dylan himself said, you know. <laughs> That song didn't become popular until until they made it about uh, a, some sort of sexual product. Vaginal cleaning. You should never use douches, ladies. Don't do it. All right, so there we go. So now I so now I got past the first episode, for, past the first part of the game with my mad hops, and now I put in that code that I learned to turn on an elevator, and this is going to take me to cool. a place that is hellish and nightmarish even by the extent of this game. I'm so excited. I love hellish nightmares. Are you in the stream at all still? I'm so in the stream. Okay, so this is going to... So this... I still can't hear it, though. Okay, so... well, you're not missing much. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to... I'm sure I can recreate the experience. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so we're going down, and there's this underground maze that's full of spikes that you have to climb under. And it's full of skulls and skeletal remains of people. And I'm probably going to die because cool. I think I took too long. Every research facility needs yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to die. And I hit no, my mic. never mind. What? Bruce Springsteen wrote that song. Okay, I knew it was something. But you know what? I th I th I think I think Bob Dylan also wrote it before Bruce Springsteen because as previously established Bob Dylan has written Bob every Dylan song. Bob Dylan song. Yeah. Yeah, uh Beethoven's Moonlight Symphony, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, yeah. Shit. You wouldn't think, I think I just but died. No wait, I didn't. Although I think I might actually need that clothing. We'll find out. I know there's a part of the game where you'll die if you don't have if you don't have every protective piece, because this game's a bitch. Oh. Let's let's do a little quick save. How about? How about so jumping oh. into shit? So how how's your dip, Minmanda? My day or my dip? I want to know about your Sandra Day Lewis. <laughs> Uh, my day was pretty good. Had breakfast with the grandparents. With the grands? Is that like the palm? Yeah, I did. It's pretty good. Oh my god, you died so many times. Oh yeah, no, this place is... Because uh, you have to go back through here. Uh, there we go. Barely at least avoided that. Alright, so now we gotta go through here. Also, you notice I die near the part where you have to climb over the fucking block and time it perfectly. Oh hey, sound came back for me. That was a weird time for that to happen. What? What? How, why? I don't know. It just all of a sudden. All right, so there we go. So I've only died a couple times here because this is a relatively easy puzzle compared to the nine that preceded it. <laughs> so 
dope. I just realized that those moving blocks are just the same texture as those stagnant blocks, but compressed. Yeah, this game doesn't have a lot of assets. It's a very, very simple uh, game. Uh, okay, so there's this network room thing. I can't jump to it. I can't, I can't jump out, so all I have to do is go up. Now you're going to see the place where I died the most, and this is the most frustrating part of the game because it has almost nothing to do with your skill in playing the fucking game. It's just luck. It's yeah, because you jump to the you jump to this platform. This platform goes up and down. It takes you to another platform that goes in and out of the spikes. It takes you to another platform that goes in and out of the spikes. That takes you to this rotating platform. That and none of them sync up. They're all, uh, they I all see. move at different speeds, so you have to wait and just kind of do it. So we might uh, fast forward through this part. I don't know. No, nah, no, nah, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. Nope. You're doing great. So I'm gonna quick save on top of this elevator when I get a chance. There we go. And then I just kind of have to keep doing this until it works. So you can see how many times I flew into the fucking spikes on the wall. I see that. So that that one up at the top there that barely appeared for a second, that's the one I have to jump to, and that's the one that will take me to safety. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that one's supposed to be with the other fucking ones. Ah! Uh. Nope. And I can't stay on those platforms because they go in and out of the spikes. Blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce, like another deuce girl another in the spikes. Girl. Blind. <laughs> Silicone sister, now the manager, sister, the manager, mister, told me I got what it takes. She said, I'll turn you on, Sonny, to something strong. Play the song with the funky breaks. Also, I just noticed that on, the, on my stream, all the blood turns up white. Uh, <laughs> it's got a red outline on. Uh, Is it doing that for you? <laughs> no, it's red blood. Okay, it's probably just compressing it weird then. Not. Uh, well, she's an android. Uh, is she? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> I'm not a gyno. Damn it. Um. Uh 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 uh. Damn it. You ever looked at the lyrics of Blinded by the Light? Aside from, you know, the obvious part about the douche. Yeah, I like a, another runner in the night. They're really, they're really bizarre. Yeah, I don't know too many so, of them. Actually. Something about a calliope. <laughs> she asked me if I need a ride. Diddle, 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 diddle. Me, 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 me. Shit. <laughs> All right, well, they're almost syncing up. If I can't, if I don't die here, I might be able to get it. Nope. Just gonna keep doing this until it happens. <laughs> that was not a time that it happened. So now it syncs up at the top, and I used to know the timing for this, but it always changes because none of these are in time. It's pretty bullshit. Yeah, no, this is kind of an annoying part of the game. It is not a well-designed portion of the level. You hear that, designers? You hear that, guy who this Whoever game? you may be. Guy whose name I'd fuck. Guys whose name I'd fuck. <laughs> they don't know it. Because this, this part of the game makes me angry. And I don't know how I did it the first time. You should just, like, I mean, keep dying. There we go. I want to see you fill this chamber with blood. Oh. Alright, there we go. Good thing I had that protective suit, suit of swim. Shit. Too bad I didn't have that protective swimsuit. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta jump over here. Got a quick save. And then I gotta jump on that platform and jump away from it before it crushes me. As you can tell from the giant ass blood stain up there. Ah, uh, I see. Alright. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, so I gotta jump over here. Actually, that one over there has a thingy to do this stuff. 
You don't say. I gotta not fall into the spikes. That's an important part of this. An important part of the balanced breakfast. So yeah, um, oh I can't, oh yes, I can get to it, cool. Yes. And then it's got this thingy, and this does. They could wake up at any moment. Keep saying this, but it's pointless. The missile will wipe out all the stations. <gasps> Missiles? Was there a war? <laughs> oh, there was a war. Oh, there was such a war, you missed it. I know. I was too busy dying in a tube. All right, so I gotta go back the other way, and then I gotta crawl again to climb out. Maybe that's why there's spikes everywhere. Because there was a war, a spike war. There's a war, yeah. All right, so now I gotta go up here, and the music changes, I think. Oh yeah, I'm ready for oh, it. Oh, plants, is this near the surface? Yeah, listen to that happy, good time, hero, save music day. I'm so ready, I'm, wow. Wow. Yeah, you can just see the animes happening. Oh yeah, I see you running a field and looking at the sun. This music comes up at another at, at another stage in the game, the strangest stage of the all in the game. I gotta grab all these while also- Meaning it's stranger? I don't know if I'm ready for it to get weirder. Okay, well maybe it's weird in that it's an actually really normal part compared to the rest oh, of the game. Alright. Okay, so I also have to grab all these hearts to go and breathe the the water. Breathe the breathe. Do the do. I gotta do the do, man. Duh. I can't remember. Was there a story about someone who said you need to change your name to a woman, duh? <laughs> uh, no. The story was, I'm gonna change my name to just duh. Because you don't need a man here. Because I'm life. a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, shit. You don't need a man. Yeah. Other, yeah, you're not no man, duh. Not no man, duh. All right, so I just gotta grab those other couple of hearts and like keep going. <sighs> oh, that's not a good way to do that. That's not a good touch. No, oh, no. Oops, I forgot to save after I grabbed all the fucking whatevers. Hearts, that's what they're called. This music actually has a lot of variety to it, unlike the ambient music that accompanies most of the game. And you can't really tell when it repeats. Ooh, what is this? It doesn't. Something written here. My family hasn't returned. I've reached my limit. Oh, poor skeleton. I don't remember what's actually down here, or if I can escape. I guess we'll find out. Do it! Here we go! Alright, leveled up. Uh oh. Nope, I can't escape from here. I don't have the thing I need. It's cool though, I leveled up anyway. Do you, to, do you keep your level up? No, I I had to go I just grabbed more of the blue hearts. Ah, uh, okay. So network room C, infirmary. So let's go to network room C. Let's see if we can contact the outside world while crawling on top of this pile of bones. What if there is no outside world? What if they're all dead? What if you're the last human? Well, I guess we'll find out. Something's written here as well. I feel a slight breeze. My voice might reach the ground if I shout here. Global network offline. Please use other rooms. Oh no, this terminal's off. How many others came here? And I guess she's been in the tube for 300 years, so they... Jesus. <gasps> I've decided to leave the station, but still I worry about Marie. In the face of death, will she survive? Future Marie, will you hear this message? We put you in. It slowly revives the patient. It will take years before you recover. The medicine will help. But three years ago, international de relations deteriorated. The world is war. Wha international relations. Homing missiles will destroy the station. However, Marie's capsule is safe. I will work to ensure her survival. Future Marie, if you hear this, try each network room. They might be able to... Yeah, I've been trying that, asshole. 
considering it has at least three rooms, one of them will work. Please, you'll survive getting a signal. Midst, I. That I'm doing I, the Oscar winning performance. I'm Ooh, ready. Key. Or, I was ready, and then it happened, and then I wasn't there ready. There we go. Key. So I became ready again. I I don't even know. All right, so we got the key to the infirmary, and oh man, how are we gonna get out of here? This medicine will restore functions to the arms after cryogenic sleep. Your arms have now been restored. You can fly now. Whoa! All right, there we go. You flap your arms really hard. So see, now we can hold on to walls. Oh, cool. Super. All right, so ah. Uh, oh shit. All right, so we need that to get out of here. Get out of many of the years, actually. Get out of Dodge. So he just left her there? Yeah, well, this is the only place that has the medicine that she needs. So we grab. Wasn't he the one? Wasn't he the one that developed the medicine? Um, yeah, but I don't know. Just make it somewhere else, asshole. Yeah, but then we wouldn't have this stellar award-winning game that is not totally frustrating. Alright, so I'm gonna do that again because I want to get all those hearts. Okay. Actually, I don't give a shit. There's a secret I can get if you get all the hearts, but it's such a giant pain in the dick to get all the hearts. Also, apparently I can't save- I can't actually save for real when I'm in the- oh, that's- So this is one of the problems the drop catch brings, is that you'll sometimes grab onto things when you don't want to. Um... Oops. That was- oh, fuck, I need to go back. Because you have to be uninjured to go- to get- to get back, because you have to run through the fucking laser beam. Because you can't- you can't uh, turn it off. Laser beams! Fuck! How did I do this before? I have done this. I have done this section of the game. Too bad, too bad blood doesn't stay underwater. It does. I just haven't died underwater a lot. Really? Because you've been dying underwater a lot. Yeah, but I've been drowning. You only get- the blood only shows up if you're, if you're killed by laser spikes. If you drown, you don't bleed. Alright, so now we're gonna make a very sudden drop and hope we land. Nope. Oh, back to this music. Ha! There we go. So now we can climb in there. Good thing we have this key. I bet it'll let us into this room. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I need a key? Oh man, there's surveillance entrance on the screen. If I can, I'd like to use this network room. This one, room B. If you want to unlock this room, go to the administration room underground. Oh, okay. Sorry I'm asking this for you. I guess I'll just swim through the water and climb over the spikes again. <laughs> Administration room? Underground? You mean, like, in the water? <laughs> With all the spikes? That for some reason you put here? In your facility? It's for security. Yeah. Oh, fucking goddammit. You sure did have enough time to record all these goddamn holograms. Oh, forgot to save. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> Also, I like that they have the- I also like that they have the sad, like, music box theme showing up. Like, for him just, like, talking to somebody. Ah, fuck it, I'm not getting that one. <laughs> now we wait for this platform to come back. And we have to not get hit, otherwise we're going to die. It'll go there. And we go here, go here, and yeah. Now we gotta just go over this thing. We gotta wait for this thing to come back. And go over it. Then we can climb over here. We gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up, gotta get up. <sighs> gotta go faster. Alright, and now we can breathe. Got it. All right, now we gotta get- Let's play a fun game and try to hold our breath when she holds her breath. And see how much- it, Just see. Just see. Oops. I don't know. Because right. then we wouldn't be talking. 
Oh. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> there it was. I thought I could fall while crouching. Fuck. Also, this is a uh, th that quick save sound effect is a stock sound effect of sorts. So it was used in a marathon game. I believe it was marathon. Um, it's one of the marathon infinity mods. Fuck. Yeah. Huh. I should play Marathon in this show sometime. Predecessor to Halo. Alright, so now we gotta go through here. Now with a heightened oxygen supply, this is a bit more trivial. Did I ever tell you about my first experience playing Halo? No, you didn't. So, uh... Oh, uh, fuck it, what was it? I think it was... Halo... When did Halo 3 come out? Uh... I don't remember. Alright. Well, it was either Halo was 2 or was Halo in, I think 3. it was 2008. It might have been Halo 3. So Halo 3 came out in 2007, apparently. So Halo 3 came out, er, and uh, the, Nate and his friend Kenny are like super huge Halo fans. They're like, we gotta play it. We, and they just like played all through it and everything and stayed up and everything like that and so I came over and they're like do you want to do uh you know multiplayer and I'm like sure I've never played before but whatever I'm sure I'll learn the ropes of this run and shoot game so I'm uh, they gave me this controller and I noticed something weird right off the bat when I go to try to aim and I point down at the ground and I don't come back up and I'm like, guys, I think there's something wrong with my controller. And rather than help me, <laughs> they just completely pick me off, like, systematically, one by one, one after another. Every time I'd respawn, I would, for some reason, look straight down at my feet and not be able to come back up. <laughs> and they would just shoot me. <laughs> so I had a busted-ass controller. Oh, hmm. That's... That was that's... my... That's my memories of playing Halo. That sounds like for the a great. That time. sounds like a great uh, first time. You know what? Too the best part was uh, they made that we just like they made my armor for me because we didn't really take want to take a lot of time. So they just like gave me something default. It's fucking like golden. So there's no way I could even like hide because <laughs> it was so bright. <laughs> you could see me looking at my feet running around everywhere. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what's down here. Oh, it's this place. Yeah, no, that's um, not a. Yeah, no, that's not a good experience at all. I would. <laughs> it's whatever. I would not. A minus would not eBay again. <laughs> would not Halo again. Oh, gotta wait for that guy to go over there. Cause I want to repair my suit. Shit, I don't want to grab it on the wall and get shot. That is not on my list of plans for today. To do. One, grab wall. Two, get shot. Question mark? Three, get subway. Because <laughs> you gotta eat fresh. Eat, eat fresh. Eat terribly, delectably fresh. Horribly fresh. All right, so now we got to go and do a crazy part. Fuck, and we got to grab onto a wall. It gets crazier. It keeps getting crazier. It's just how crazy can it get? Well, we'll find out next time. Until then. Next good time. Good night, internet. Good night, internet. I should have stopped in a place where I didn't have to keep jumping.